My name is Sarah, and I grow vegetables and flowers in Sweden. I'm actually growing that much food so that my family of six never have to buy any vegetables in the supermarket. And that's kind of amazing. After all, I garden in Sweden. You can subscribe my channel if you want inspiration on how to grow vegetables in your home garden. Maybe to be able to be self-sufficient in homegrown vegetables too. I have two gardens and this is my small cottage garden at Oak Hill. It's late October 2020 and I am out in the garden to check my peppers. I grow them in the open, not in a greenhouse. And it works surprisingly well even though I grow in Sweden. If I grow peppers like this, I can fit so many more plants in the garden than I do if I grow them in pots in a greenhouse. My best advice to succeed with peppers outdoors are Choose varieties that grow and develop in a short time. Some varieties flower late in the season and you should not grow that kind of pepper if you garden in cold climate, as Sweden for example. I grow lipstick and king of the north in this bed and they are perfect to grow outdoors in my climate. Start your sowings early to get plants that flower already in the container, before you plant them in the garden. I sow my peppers in January. Choose a warm and, if possible, sheltered place in the garden. You may have a wall or a fence or something to shelter from the wind. Or there may be a spot in the garden where the sun reaches all day long. Well, choose that area. Peppers are, among aubergine, cucumber, melons and tomatoes, plants that thrives in a warm and sunny part of the garden. Try to care for the plant some extra. If it's too dry, if it's not enough fertilization in the dirt, if it's too cold or anything else that will sort of inhibit the plant, it will give its precious energy to compensate for the loss instead of grow forward in good health, producing flowers and fruit. Try to always be ahead of the plant and figure out what it needs next. I harvested all of the fruits the last days of October. That's kind of late. We have had a very warm fall in Sweden. As you see, some of the peppers are still green, well, quite many of them, but they will turn red in just no time at all. I spread the fruit on a table indoors and they will shortly turn red and the taste will be soft and sweet. We eat as many as possible, fresh, and I put the rest in the freezer.
This is how I grow peppers outdoors in Sweden. If you want more tips on how to grow vegetables in cold climate, follow my garden blog at sarabakmo.com.